What's up guys? We're back to give you an update on our uh, 4AG build that we're doing for one of our own cars. Um, got some inquiries and guys asking about it and wanting to get some updates on it. So uh, <clears throat> here it is, pretty much assembled, ready to go. Um, got the oil pan on, um, everything pretty much assembled here. Same pistons I showed in our first video, 12 to 1 Trom pistons. Um, <clears throat> water pump assembly on. You can see where I welded all the heater core stuff, so we don't have any of that. Um, no reason to run any of that tubing that runs from here back to the car. We don't plan on using any of that stuff. Um, it does have this flywheel that actually came with the motor when we got it, but we're going to remove that and go to a Clutch Masters flywheel. Uh, 4AG head studs, ARP flywheel bolts that we're going to get in there. Um, also, you can see we're using the factory front damper. Just something we want to try, see if it if it lives. Um, if it doesn't, you know, whatever, we could always take it off. You know, from factory, I mean, these things stock rev 8,000 RPM. So just going to see what it can do since it's not turbo and that's not going to be a big power setup. It'll be uh, just an all-motor deal. So I think it'll live. We'll try it out, see how it works, and give you guys some feedback on that. But, um... There it is. I wanted to get a quick video before I put the head on it uh, to show you guys just so everybody can see that it does have these 12 to 1s in there. Nothing bigger. So when we go to dyno, we get a real uh, horsepower number with this combination. Um, got the Cometic gasket for it. It's going to be a 30 thousandths. I don't know if you guys can see that there. 30 thousandths thick. Uh, Cometic multi-layer. Uh, <clears throat> normally we'll run a 40 like the turbo stuff. We run a 40... 51 thousandths, but um, this setup we got a uh, 30 thousandths, just to give it a little bit more compression. Also, this water pump assembly came off of a 4AC, so I don't know if you guys have ever done something like that, but uh, we actually cut this one little area off of here to clearance. I did see a video that somebody put up saying that's all you had to do, so we did all that. All stainless hardware um, here as well. Put all that in there. There got a Toyota, original Toyota timing belt. I actually located and found the uh, lower timing gear down there. Sorry, lower brand new from Toyota as well. Um, just trying to find little things just to make the motor, you know, nice. This was actually one that I found also online, used but in very good shape. So got the pilot bearing in there. Can't see that there, but uh, that's it. Short blocks together. Get the head studs in there and um bolt the head on so i'll show you guys the head next all right here's a cylinder head all complete got the valves in it valve job resurfaced uh it actually has super tech standard size valves in it so we didn't even go oversized valves uh the porting done you guys seen this already <clears throat> one thing that was slowing me down with this head was i was trying to locate a shimless lifter that they do have the 28 millimeter bucket but uh, they come from Japan, so they're pretty hard to get. Um, I've been waiting on a while to finally find all the different size lifters that I needed to get the valve job. I mean, I'm sorry, the, <clears throat> the valve lash, the correct lash that I needed for, you know, intake and exhaust. So I was finally able to get the complete set. So they're all shimless lifters in there. You can check these out, see if I can get one out of here. It's a Toyota lifter and 2J guys would know this. We use these in the 2J stuff, and um, there's probably about, I don't know, 30 different sizes, just guessing, you know, maybe more. And uh, it eliminates the shim that normally comes on top of the 4AG factory lifter. So, um, should be a good setup. Curious to see how that works out as well. Um, inside, it's got a spring and retainer combo for my buddy from pro valve racing so it uses his retainer and spring combination so that's in there and um we're hoping this thing really turns some rpm so we got port bronze guides in there and uh again hoping this thing can turn probably i don't know at least i mean i'm sure it's going to nine thousand. you know in that area you can see all the other heads i have back there i got to put together still but um yeah, should be a pretty cool setup, and I just wanted to give you guys an update on the motor so you guys see where it's at. So next will be 
getting the head studs in. You have to be careful as well from what I believe is this last head stud or the first head stud where the distributor slides in, um, the head stud will hit actually the bottom of the distributor. So I need to be sure that I clearance that stud for the distributor because I'm going to run a factory distributor in the setup. And um, so I just got to take care of that before I get that, that final stud in and torque the head on because um, I'll have to take it back all apart just to get that one stud out just to be sure I do that all right. But um, yeah, it'll run a factory distributor. Uh, actually, the distributor's down here. So there's a distributor right there and uh, nothing crazy again I like to keep things simple uh, avoid any other any extra issues as far as crank trigger or any of that other stuff bolting a wheel to the front of the damper distributor should work fine um, we'll keep an eye on it see what the timing looks like especially at high rpm and um, see how much power this thing can really make I mean I'm really excited to see what this thing can do it's going to have 48 millimeter IT, TWM ITBs, so it uh, should be a pretty wicked little motor, you know, and um, see how much power they really make. 12 to 1, it'll be on E85, and uh, see, uh, see what it can really do. So I'll give you guys some more details on that once I get, I'll shoot another video once I get the head on it, and um, ITBs and all that other stuff. And then here's some of the other motors you guys saw. 3S drag motor. This is we're waiting on pistons to come in. Um, Brian Crower connecting rods. 2JZ. It's going to be a stroker. 2JZ billet main caps down there. Um, 3S second gen head. All lashed ready. We're waiting on lifters for this to come in. We're waiting on um, the other 12. So this is the same style lifter that I just showed you guys in the. Uh, 4AG head, but this is what we use in like 2JZ, uh, second gen, 3S stuff. So works well. A lot of guys use that, go fast with it. Um, this we'll do a next video on. This is actually Ryan Turk's motor. <clears throat> this is going to be an awesome, cool project that he's putting together. Can't wait to tell you guys more about it. So I'll get you more footage on that as well. Here's that 7A motor we're working on. Billet crankshaft. We're setting the lash, the uh, thrust in it. So we're getting all that set up just to make sure that's okay. This is the uh, second gen motor that's going to Barbados. That actually has a uh, Clutch Masters flywheel on it there. So I'll show you guys the difference between the two flywheels. So here's that stock flywheel I was showing you from the 4AG that I was going to use, but I ah, figured, you know what, I'm going to change that. Here is the Clutch Masters flywheel that's on that second gen 3S that we're doing. And I mean, it's just an amazing piece. I mean, it's beautiful, it's all coded. Um, they got their logo in there, you know, made in the USA. So again, you can't beat the quality of this piece for the money, um, it's just the way to go. So this is actually the clutch setup going in this second gen 3S setup, all Clutch Masters as well. Um, we've used them for, man, I don't know, 1998, seven, we've been using all Clutch Master stuff. So they support us, they do a lot of good things for us as well. And uh, figured why not put that on the on the 4AG ARP flywheel bolts. And uh, this should be getting ready to head out soon once I get the cylinder head <clears throat> assembled and put on the motor. Got a couple valves out, because we had to, uh, cut them to get the lash right so that's all we're waiting on now so stay tuned guys um next i'll probably shoot a video of the drag car the a86 the updates we got going on on there here's a quick shot of it as well and uh i'll keep you guys posted let me know again comment down below let me know um questions you have for some of the motors the 4ag stuff we still don't have 3tc footage that we are working on it is coming so that'll be next um as well so a lot of stuff i've been kind of lost just been busy getting all these motors together and working on the drag car as well so um stay tuned oh by the way we are heading to hawaii march 12th and 13th so uh we finally are going to race the red car the red corolla which i'm looking forward to and see what that thing can finally put down as far as the time 
All right. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon.